Rudy Giuliani just did what some in this administration reportedly wish he would not do, go on air and say things. A short time ago, he was on Fox News where he responded to reporting from the New York Times' Maggie Haberman that Secretary of State Mike Pompeo is unhappy with these statements from Giuliani, who says that he was working with Ukrainian officials at the behest of the State Department. Here's Giuliani's response. In fact, I'm a legitimate whistleblower. I have, inco- I have uncovered corruption that this Washington swamp has been covering up effectively for years. And his State Department, you know, asked me to do this. So, Mike, if you're unhappy with me, I'm sorry, but I accomplished my mission. And I have no idea if he's unhappy with me or not. I frankly don't care. I'm the president's lawyer. Well, you heard Giuliani there say that he's the real whistleblower in this story. He said that and more to the magazine The Atlantic today. Quote, it is impossible, he said, that the whistleblower is a hero and I'm not. And I will be the hero. These morons, when this is over, I will be the hero. In that new whistleblower's complaint released today, Rudy Giuliani's name is mentioned 31 times, 31 times across the nine-page document. Once a federal prosecutor and New York City mayor, a very different-seeming Giuliani is embedded deeply in this controversy, not just as the president's personal attorney, but as the man who has met with Ukrainian, Ukrainian officials to, among other things, push for them to focus on the Bidens. Here's CNN's Randy Kaye with the story. In that July 25th phone call, President Trump offering up his personal lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, as his personal envoy to the Ukrainian president. That's according to the now unclassified whistleblower complaint, which says Trump mentioned Giuliani multiple times. Giuliani told CNN he has, quote, no knowledge of any of that crap. And true to form, Giuliani's gone on a Twitter attack, calling the whistleblower's information questionable and targeting Democrats and the media, too. Meanwhile, according to the complaint, about a week after Trump's call with the Ukrainian leader, Giuliani traveled to Madrid to meet with one of President Zelensky's advisors about the cases they had discussed. Complete nonsense. First of all, I never knew about the $250 million uh, uh, military aid. When you read the conversation, there's no mention of 250 million. You read it. There's no mention of military aid. There's no quid pro quo. The president of the Ukraine says, I wasn't pressured. End of case. I know. Over. This case is anything but over. The complaint says multiple U.S. officials told the whistleblower they were deeply concerned about Giuliani's actions and that State Department officials, including two ambassadors, had spoken with Giuliani in an attempt to contain the damage to U.S. national security. In response, Giuliani told CNN at no time did either one of them say they wanted to contain the damage. It's all vintage Giuliani. Since signing on with the White House for the Russia investigation, he's given dozens of rambling interviews that are quick to go off the rails. Shut up, moron. Shut up. Shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. Sometimes contradicting himself within seconds. Did you ask the Ukraine to investigate Joe Biden? No, actually, I didn't. So you did ask Ukraine to look into Joe Biden? Of course I did. You just said you didn't. And with Ukraine, he's once again peddling wild conspiracy theories. You know what you're going to find out? It was Ukrainian collusion with Hillary Clinton. Well, what that we're she finding out right point, now is $1 million that an more, intel and Joe official... Biden and the Joe Biden family Fine, has been let's selling nice. It's written in That's books. You just won't read it. It's all over the you, internet. You Go said, read it. I'm all over the I internet. have the proof. Randy K, CNN, New York. And joining me now to discuss, CNN legal analyst and former Nixon White House counsel, John Dean. Uh, John, good to see you again. Rudy Giuliani seems set on trying to show the world uh, that he was not doing this alone. He was in, acting at the behest of the State Department. He's showing text messages uh, from individuals at the State Department. I don't really fully understand it. That wouldn't absolve him of any allegation of wrongdoing, would it? No, it's just people are questioning what in the world was he doing and who is he doing it for as the president's private lawyer. That isn't a typical mission. So his his allusion to the constantly saying, well, I'm doing this for the State Department is something we can now run down and find indeed if he did have any kind of authority and why did he? If the State Department were working with Giuliani, would it be documented beyond those text messages that Giuliani is is putting out there? Well, I would imagine there would be somebody in the State Department 
who would say, yes, we talked to him uh, and he was given this assignment, if indeed th that was the case. Uh, I noticed in the article that uh, where he called everybody a moron, that same article, uh, he says the State Department is now going to try to distance himself from me. So I think he may know he's overreached in what he's pretending is his authority. Right. The State Department, of course, is still part of the Trump administration and Trump is still his client. Uh, in, in a phone call with a reporter at The Atlantic, Giuliani called himself both a hero and a whistleblower, and he said that he was going to be proven correct, not the actual whistleblower. Does that make any sense to you at all? Uh, not, not at all. In fact, uh, I, I don't know what's happened to Rudy. I remember when he used to speak in full sentences and logically. Uh, it's hard to find those now. In fact, the fact he represents himself as the president's attorney. Earlier today, I did a search in all of the Southern District to see if he was the attorney on any case. He is not. He is named as a defendant in 40 cases, but he's not representing anybody in court. Hmm. At, at what point, uh, Giuliani told the reporter from The Atlantic, quote, I'm not acting as a lawyer. I'm acting as someone who has devoted most of his life to straightening out government. Then tonight he was back to underscoring that he is the president's attorney. I mean, he, he really is all over the place. He is. It's very, you know, one of the things that happened to Nixon in Watergate, uh, I asked the Watergate prosecutors, did Nixon ever have an attorney who you thought was competent? And all, all of the prosecutors said, never. He never really did come up to the level of really being well represented in their eyes anyway. And I think that's what we're seeing with Rudy Giuliani is I, while Trump has got some good civil lawyers in his civil cases, I don't think he has good criminal representation and he has no idea of how the law works.